everybody, my name is Professor Zabon Atlantic Barry. Welcome to the first lecture of algebra. So today we're going a little simple. So we're going to be doing some algebra. Now, before we get into any of that complicated stuff, plus, minus, time, the uh, division, all of that complicated stuff, just want to give you an introduction to what algebra is like. So, uh, we're going to uh, just illustrate what algebra is like. What are some strategies for doing algebra? That's the first thing we want to know. So, strategy to do, do algebra with would be use what you know, use what you know, as a bridge to build the unknown. As a bridge to build to the unknown. So, oh, you have to look and investigate, really comprehend what you know in order to build a bridge to what you don't know. That's what I'm saying. So there are really two steps, comprehending and solving. The first step, comprehending, is understanding what uh, you know. Now, for example, uh, I'm going to use an analogy. Let's say that you want to get uh, back into your house. Let's say it's a modest house with two floors and a tiny little shed over here. So it's a modest house, mm. but, and you want to get back in it after a long uh, car trip. But you forgot where you've put your keys. So, what do you do? Well, the first step is trying to remember where you last left your keys. So, then, once you found, once you found, or realized, once you where you put your keys, then uh, the, there's only one more step. You go into where you the, remember you left it. And then you grab it. Now the solving, uh, it, uh, the solving part is really trying to grasp for the key and then remembering how to open the door using the key, uh, which I assume if you're an adult you should know. So now. Uh, this is just like solving algebra. So, uh, when asking where your key is, is like uh, the question being asked. Trying to remember where your key is, is like comprehending the problem. And then, when you realize where your key is, you remember that all you have to do is solve. So all you have to do is solve is when you uh, finish building the bridge. So now the only uh, this when you know 
where your thing is, all you have to do is you have to remember, you have to know the operations, which is like building a bridge. So it's not like when you completed the bridge. Building the bridge, you have to know something to somewhat be able to build the bridge. No, that knowing something <laughs> is the four operations. You uh, you know those four operations, right? If you don't, they're from arithmetic. And the plus, the minus, the times, and the division sign or the divide. So now. Mm, mm, when you grab for the key and reach it into the lock, yeah, that's like trying to remember what you needed to do to, you know, build the bridge. So, this is how, this is how I imagine our algebra to be like. Now, before we go, I want the, you guys to know the, uh, some vocabulary. So vocab. Let's take two vocab cards for today. Our first vocab card is and. And means add when you're converting real life problems like global warming, an asteroid hitting Earth, or a fire. A wildfire these uh, kind of issues can all be converted to uh, we can turn to algebra to solve and so we solve these issues using algebra mm. so we sort of convert them so in making our a slew converter <laughs> and this gives us all sorts of stuff <clears throat> pluses minuses variables exponents factorials derivatives integrals all of these sorts of things and bonds and uh, all of these weird uh, operations so Let's recap on what we learned today. What we learned today is only going to be a tiny piece of what we learn tomorrow. So tune in for number two while we will recap for what we learned today. Oh yeah, I forgot our uh, mystery vocab word. Our uh, next uh, and final vocab card is of, which means times or multiply you learn what add times or multiply means in the next lecture now let's recap we know what uh, we know that there are two parts to solving a problem an algebraic problem one you have to comprehend the problem and the information it gives you. Two, you have to use the operations to your advantage, which I call operating. Now, the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love with math and science. Subscribe to Barry Science.